This session is called Using Guest Posting for Link Building. And you're going to learn how you can build links and also build your audience with this one powerful strategy by building high authority links from bloggers that operate in your niche market. So before we get started, let's answer the very simple question of why guest post? Why would you want to spend your time guest posting? And SEO, search engine optimization, is a great tool for building an audience, as I'm sure you know, because of just how many people search Google every day. And the way you build your search engine optimization, build your rankings, and link authority is by getting links, getting high authority links. That's going to get you up to the top. Well, guest posting is a great way to get high authority links from other thought leaders in your market, other people who have been noted as authorities. And you can build your audience at the same time. So we're going to be going for a few different things. First off, you're going to gain link authority because you're going to have these authoritative bloggers hosting your article that links back to you. These authors probably have a good deal of exposure and you're going to get some brand awareness, which is great getting your name out there. You can probably get some Twitter followers and Facebook fans, things like that. And also, if these sites have good traffic, you're going to see a spike in traffic any day you do a guest post. This is something that I see quite a lot. Anytime I do a guest post, I get this huge surge of traffic because people on this other blog that has a lot more authority than mine are going to come and click through and see that and say, wow, that was great content. I'd like to learn more about this author and what he has to offer. So we're going to be looking at link authority, brand awareness, and getting referral traffic all simply by posting to a guest blog. So when we're talking about guest posting, I want to clarify exactly what I mean. And this simply just means when one blogger allows another blogger or an author to post an article to their blog. So you're going to write something up and give it to someone else to post on their blog. And this is a great tool for both people because the owner of the blog is essentially getting free content, which is great. It's just one less article that he has to write. And also the person who wrote the article is going to get exposure to an untapped audience. We've got a whole bunch of people over there that read that blog that might not know about you yet. So writing an article and getting it in front of them and having some links back to you is a great way to grow your audience. So anytime we're talking about guest posting, we simply mean writing something and as opposed to posting it to your own blog, giving it to somebody else and allowing them to post it. So now let's talk about how to guest post. And I've broken this down into three steps here. The first step, we're gonna find opportunities and go out looking for blogs to guest post on. The second step, we're going to build the relationship with the blogger. And then the third step, we're going to go ahead and write the post. So let's take a look at each of these in detail. So the first step is to find the opportunities. You want to find high authority bloggers that operate in your niche. And I just listed a couple good places you can get started. Technorati is a great blog directory. You can find all sorts of wonderful stuff. I definitely recommend going there and searching around. Alltop is another great directory where you can find high authority blogs and you can search by topic. So this is where you can start building a spreadsheet full of blogs that you feel like, you know, would be something that you definitely want to guest post on. Another one is this great site called My Blog Guest and this is specifically designed to allow bloggers to guest post. So you can go and look for other bloggers who are saying, I happily allow guest posts and I'm going to allow this many per month, so on and so forth. So that's another great resource. Another great thing to do is just search for a keyword that you'd like to rank for and see if there's any blogs on the front page. That's another great way. They clearly have a lot of authority because Google's ranking them highly and a link from them would be wonderful. So do a Google search and just look around. And the whole idea here is you're going to want to build a spreadsheet full of bloggers that look really high authority. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that here on the next slide, which is what to look for. We want to look for a few key things here. First being relevance. We don't want links from blogs that are not about our topic. You want to have relevant links. So only guest post on blogs that make sense for your market, that are relevant to your content. The second being authority. Of course, we're looking for high authority sites. We don't want to get links from low authority sites that'll drag us down. So definitely look for authoritative sources. Another thing to look for is if the blog is regularly updated. You've learned a little bit about this in our other videos where it's really good to have constant content. So if this blog hasn't had a new post in six months, it's probably not something you're going to want to bother with. Another good one to look for is leadership. 
Look for someone who has both authority, but also a following. Look for people who get a lot of blog comments and they have a lot of social media followers. You know, really look for people who are leaders in the market. Age is something to look for. Age tends to boost authority when we're talking about SEO. So if someone's been blogging for, you know, 10 years, that's great as opposed to six months. Look at how old the blog is. If you're not sure how to do that, you can do a who is search on the domain name and see how old the domain is, but also just look at the oldest post. That's an easy way to do it. Another thing to look for is how many other guest posts there are. You don't want there to be a huge amount because if they're just doing guest posts, Google's going to look at that like, okay, you're just sort of like an article director. You're really not a blog. You know, you want them to have, I don't have a specific ratio, but far more original content than guest posts. If they only have one guest post a week, that's okay. If only one a month, even better. If there's only one every six months, that's great. That means that getting in there is going to really help you out because they don't do it very often. So the less, the better when it comes to other guest posts on that blog. Okay, so let's look at step two here, which is probably the most important step. And it's a step that I see a lot of people miss when they're going to try to do guest posts. So what typically happens is, and I have this happen to myself, people will email me and they'll say, hi, I wrote this post, please post it to your blog. And I have no idea who these people are. Obviously, I'm not going to post it. Sometimes I'll read it, and if it's great, maybe I'll get in touch with them. But I mean, most of the time, it's just going straight to my spam folder. I don't even see it. So you really need to work on building the relationship with these authority bloggers. You got to assume they're going to get hounded with requests for guest posts and all that stuff. So be social. It's one of the first things that I always tell people. Follow them on Twitter, friend them on Facebook. Get social with them, interact with them, you know, try to get on their radar before you ask for something. Always think about how you can add value both to them and to their readers. One of the things that you can do is retweet their posts or, you know, share their Facebook posts, things like that that add value to them. Make sure that you're thinking about how you can add value to their readers because obviously that's what they care about the most. You can add to the discussion by commenting on the posts. That's a great way to get on their radar if you're somebody who comments on their posts and share. I touched on this a little already, but, you know, anytime that you can share their posts, they're going to really be happy with you for that because everyone loves it when they post to their blog and you see a couple dozen people share it. If I see people who share my posts often, you know, I'm going to remember their name. So if I get an email from you, I'm going to remember you. I'm going to say, oh, this guy shared a bunch of my posts. I wonder what he wants. So again, build the relationship. Don't just simply ask to guest post, but really get involved with them first. And then when you do this, they'll be much more receptive to allowing you to guest post. So the third step here is to just go ahead and write the post. Most of the time, you're going to be writing the posts before they even agree to allowing you to guest post. Sometimes you just have to take the initiative and write it. So sometimes you might just want to do this before step two, but really it is technically the third step. And the first thing that I want you to know is you really need to write for their audience. Now, what I mean by this is you might be in the same market, but they might have a different spin on something. Like if you read different health blogs, you know, there's definitely people that one might be for single moms or one might be for single dads or one might be for, you know, single people. I mean, you never know who their specific market is. And even if you're doing something that's related to health, You need to target it to their audience. So always think about how to write for them. The second step is to do your homework. And what I mean by this is one of the easiest things you can do is look at the blog that you want to guest post on and read the top five to 10 posts. Really learn about what's going on on this blog. Read the comments to those posts. So look around, try to figure out what their voice is, what their take is. Look in the comments and find what blog posts spark the most discussion. Really think about everything that you can do. And then again, go back to step one where you're writing for their audience. So really do your homework on their blog and make sure that you're going to do something that's going to be very, very valuable. So the next step is to think about links. Now, of course, we're doing this to get links and get referral traffic. And link authority is definitely a big motivator here. So think about where you want to put your links. Some guest bloggers will only let you have an author bio, which we're going to talk about in a second, but sometimes you can put some links in the body of the article. Now, we've talked about internal linking in another video, but here, you know, you're linking out to yourself. You might want to link to some of their content. 
don't just link to yourself. You can think about, okay, they have some other blogs just here on their blog that I'd like to reference as well as yourself. That makes it look a little more natural and not so self-promotional. Now, another interesting thing you can do here is if you're still trying to work with somebody else, another blogger that you'd really like to guest post on, you can link to them. So you can go back to some of the other bloggers you're really hoping to guest post on and link to them from this guest post and let them know and say, you know, I sent you a little link love and that might warm them up to the idea of allowing you to guest post on their blog. Then, of course, where you would like to link to your site, you can link to your homepage, which is okay. Sometimes it's a little better to link deeper into your site. Make sure, of course, you're doing keywords in your anchor text and naturally, though, you know, you don't want it to be identical. So phrase in some keywords and and link to your own content that's relevant. Now, another part where you're going to be getting links is in your author bio. So sometimes this is all you get. The content in the blog, they're going to say, you know, we don't want you linking in here, but you can have a little bio at the bottom where you say, hi, I'm so-and-so, I regularly blog here, click here to view, blah, blah, blah. And you might be able to get one or two links. That's fine. Again, try to format your bio in such a way where the type of blog you have is worded with a keyword. You know, hi, my name is so and so, and I write a blog about auto mechanics, something like that, you know, and that would be the link. You know, when you're trying to work some keywords into your bio a little naturally. So definitely think about a bio. Another thing to really think about when it comes to your bio is a call to action. Think about their audience, think about their needs, and tell them straight away. If you really want to get this desired benefit and this outcome, click here because I'm going to show you how to blah, blah, blah. You know, really phrase in some good marketing so that when people are done reading, they like what they've read and they see that bio, call to action and say, go check this out because I'm going to give you more great stuff and I'm going to teach you how to get the results you want, so on and so forth. Don't be afraid to be a little marketing heavy here. Okay, so in conclusion, creating great content And posting it to other blogs with high authority is a wonderful SEO strategy. And it's not even just great for SEO. It's great because you're going to build your brand. People are going to see you on these high authority sites. You're going to be getting those great links, but you're also going to get a lot of referral traffic. So definitely check your analytics and see if you're getting a lot of referral traffic. I'm sure you will. I've always noticed anytime I've guest posted or anybody that I've worked with, when they do guest post, they get this huge surge of traffic. So Work a good call to action into your bio, and you're going to see a big boost in traffic, a big boost in SEO authority. So guest posting is a fantastic strategy. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.